far back as I can remember. I was always making something small. I didn't try to manipulate the bits and pieces around me. I was maybe five, six years old, taking mud and rocks and plants and making tiny little worlds. I'm Wolf Brack. What I love to do is small scale work. And there's just an inherent intimacy to small things. My introverted nature, it's always been a part of who I am. I like focusing in on something small and just exploring that to the exclusion of everything else. A lot of my work, it's looking to figure out other people. I've always liked noticing people's quirks. It's like I'll be studying people's faces without realizing it. Sometimes I can learn things about people without having to talk to them. It could be bits and pieces, like this nose is interesting, or oh, this cheek line does that. So when I do study faces or find myself noticing things about them, I may end up transferring it into one of these. faces, these little like snippets of identity. You put on a mask and you lose your identity, or you put on a mask and you assume a different identity. It strikes us on a pretty deep level. They started out as little African masks for someone else, and then I got interested in it. I did some research and made a few that were maybe about an inch or two. And then I wanted to see if I could get it smaller and smaller and smaller. With small things, the closer you get, the more complexities you see. I want you to get up close and observe it and interact with it. kind of like I'm taking you, grabbing you by the face and drawing you into my world. Art is a way for me to communicate with people. It's like initiating play with a stranger and I don't even have to be in the room to do it. But I formed a connection with this person. You know, they've, I've, I've made them laugh a little bit or I've interested them enough to stand still for a bit and just forget about the rest of the world and interact with this piece. You're taking your experiences and personality and manifesting them for others to experience. Whatever it is you're making, it's a part of you. I've always been fascinated by the craftsmanship found in nature. Nature is kind of where I find perfection. Patterns that repeat into infinity. nature but I love architecture kind of like comparing the two you know if I've got a big round piece that from a distance may look like a cell or a diatom or something organic and you get close up and there are buildings you know straight lines and ordered streets and things like that
You know, these little bits make up this larger thing, which makes up a larger thing, which makes up a larger thing. I think that's mirrored in the universe all around us. It's infinite. Just seeing the amount of variety within one type of organism, like cacti. There's so many variations, it just seems like it never ends. And then you find, you take one variant and another one and cross them and you get more variation. So it just keeps going and going and going. Round and round and round and round. Life is about details. <laughs>